So I was given a wonderful question about how long have we been here? How many lives do we have? And of course, that's unique for each of us. And the other question of, have all of our lives been on earth? Not necessarily. Uh, I have I have friends who are in their... Okay, if, if you guys, it's hard for me to talk if you guys are talking to each other. Um, so let's, uh, it's one, well, it's, yeah. Um, let's all start getting into the, the space. Um, I have friends who are in their first life as a human because they have literally come from their emissaries from other dimensions or collectives who are here to help heal the planet. Um, I have friends who are in soul contract walk-in lives, which means a person agreed, I'm going to die at a certain age, and as I'm dying, you come in and take over. And the soul that has taken over is an emissary from some group or collective that doesn't need to go through the whole human experience. So they want to come in when the person is older so they can do their work on healing the planet while also enjoying the concept of being a human, which is, you know, something that most members of collectives are like, what is this arms and legs kind of thing? So um, if you were one of these, you would know it because these people are in full awareness and full connection. They're going through the process. I know plenty of humans who are in um, a first life or one of the, you know, they've only been around for a couple of hundred years because they come from Palladians or Arcturians or whatever here. And they're here to have the human existence. But while they're here living their human existence, they're also energetically connected with and being guided by their, their home group. I know other people, they are of the human race, but when they're between lives, they spend time working with beings of other frequencies. You know, people who spend time like, oh, you know, when you're not incarnating as a human, you spend time hanging out in the angelic realm or this realm or that realm. For me, when I'm not human, I spend most of my time working in the Akashic Library. So it makes sense when I came to this life that I was the one who was chosen for the purpose of this life. Um, you know, I was born in this life with full memory of my whole existence and full connection with the Akashic Library. But it wasn't until I was in my mid-40s when I realized that that's not typical. So then I said, oh, well, now obviously that's here for a purpose and I need to put that purpose to good use to help others with whatever I'm supposed to be here for. So as you go into your past life regressions, understand they may be of human past life. They may be of a different form of past life, or it may be your higher self that went was in a different place at a different time, or it may be one of your past lives when they were done with their life had not finished their karmic process. And remember, karma is never between two people. Karma is from yourself for yourself. It's your lesson that you're learning and then your lesson complete. If it's not complete, you keep at it till it's complete. Or uh, you have to skip a grade or be held back a grade, right? <laughs> so um, it could be you finished a life and a karmic process wasn't complete. So you went elsewhere to complete it. You may have rejoined with the higher self and then went elsewhere, or you may have just gone straight elsewhere. Or it could be you finished your life and you decided not to return to the higher self. So you decided to stay on earth for a while. Like that happens mostly like a, a mother who dies young and she doesn't want to return to the higher self till she makes sure her children are, are done with their life cycle. So, um, be ready for whatever happens, just for whatever. Some people, when they do a past life regression, especially if it's their first time, 
they don't go to a past life. They actually go to a memory of this life that may be um, even a forgotten memory. And it may be a joyous one or it may be a, a rough one. Uh, if you go in and you're having a rough memory from this life, uh, you know, uh, you are empowered to tell the memory you need to stay back or you're empowered to go in and deal with the memory as you would a past life memory. Okay. But at the end, if you need any help with anything, if you all can speak up, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, that's the thing. It is all open and we have no idea. I do want to tell you, when you go into a past life, the more of your soul that was in the life, the more powerful a full sensory experience it can be. Sometimes, like suppose Ariel's going into a life and she's like, hey, Benita, I'm going in for this particular challenge and it's one that I know will be really difficult for me and I don't want to spend five lives getting through that karmic lesson. I'm asking people who are good at it to give me shards of their soul to help me. I'm like, yeah, sure, here, have a splinter of my being because I'm actually really good at that and I love that challenge. I would love to help you. I'm honored that you ask. And then she might ask Tiffany as well and a few other people and we all give her shards of our soul she has that life experience. When she's done, she's like, all right, one and done. I don't have to do that challenge again. Our shards return to us. The parts of that life I'll remember if I go for a regression will be the parts that I and my soul were connected with. So if you say, I went to a life and it was kind of hazy, it was in sepia tones, and it was like really skipped through time, you can ask that life, how much of my soul is in this life? Am I the primary soul or was I a helper soul? Or was I in this life to pre-learn something so that later when I do it myself, I've already got, you know, some lessons under my belt. You know, like those kids who study geometry in summer school before taking geometry at high school. And then everyone wonders how they're so smart at geometry as they're getting straight A's because they pre-did it. So there's, you know, if you're at all confused when you're in the past life, feel welcome to ask, what's going on? Why is it this way? Okay. And let the information come to you. All right. <laughs> okay, Vampirella. <laughs> okay, everyone, so get comfortable. All cell phones are turned off or silent or do not answer, correct? Okay, good. No, however you're comfortable. And again, if you find yourself getting uncomfortable during the thing, just make yourself comfortable. If you find yourself snoring, please sit up. You know, if someone keeps kicking you in the ribs every time you are like really getting into it, you're snoring, sit up. <laughs> okay, is everyone good? Is everyone ready? Okay. 